If Toronto St. Paul's can fall to the Conservatives, which other ridings could go from red to blue come next election? It's a very serious worry for many Toronto area Liberals. This city has been a fortress for the party. In the last election, they won 25 out of 25 ridings under the Liberal banner. Now, they only hold 24 of them because they ejected MP Kevin Wong, who sits as an independent. So they hold, still hold 24 of 25 seats. And if they ran somebody against Wong on the you know, Liberal banner, you know, they could have won under different circumstances. Now, though, things are going to be different. The Liberals are seriously weakened. And if you look at the map of Toronto, you can see a whole bunch of ridings that could turn blue. You've got Etobicoke Lakeshore, currently held by James Maloney, a guy who might want to think about retiring rather than going down in defeat. But, you know, that's one riding that could go. Etobicoke Centre is another. Etobicoke North, York Centre, Willowdale, Scarborough Rouge Park, Don Valley North. All of these ridings could turn blue. In fact, I would count up about nine different ridings. And then you've got places like where Kevin Vaughan is in Spadina, Fort York. That could turn back to NDP, as could Davenport. The Liberals hold 25 seats now, and they're going to continue to hold some after the next election, even with polling doing badly. But while everyone's focused on places like where the, the Conservatives are going to win, and they will take many of these seats, the NDP could be winning as well. Right now, the Liberals are trying to put on a brave face and say there's nothing wrong with what's happening, and they're doing just fine. That's not the case. The polling results, the voting results in Toronto St. Paul's showed that, and they'll show it the next time voters are allowed to express their opinion on this government. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.